हेलो हेलो एंड वेलकम टू सेलेस्टियल स्पेस फैक्ट्स टुडे वी विल नो अबाउट फैक्ट्स अबाउट आर सन आर ओन सन फैक्ट्स अबाउट द सन फर्स्ट द सन अकाउंट्स फॉर नाइंटी नाइन पॉइंट एट सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ मास इन द सोलर सिस्टम it has a mass of around 330000 times that of earth it is three quarters hydrogen and most of its remaining mass is helium second over 1 million earths could fit inside the sun if you were to fill a hollow sun with spherical earths somewhere around 960000 would fit inside however if you squash those earth to ensure there was no wasted space then it could be fit with 1300000 earth inside the sun the surface area of sun is 11990 times that of earth third one day the sun will consume the earth the sun will continue to burn for about 130 million years after it burns through all of its hydrogen inside burning helium during this time it will expand to such a size that it will engulf mercury venus and earth when it reaches this point it will be, have become a red giant star red giant star four the energy created by sun's core is nuclear fusion this huge amount of energy is produced when four hydrogen nuclei are combined with into an one helium nucleus the sun is almost a perfect square considering the sheer size of the sun there is only a 10 kilometers difference in its polar and equatorial diameters this makes it the closest thing to a perfect sphere observed in the nature sixth the sun is traveling at 220 km per second it is around it is around 24000 to 26000 light years from the galactic central and it takes the sun approximately 225 to 250 million years to complete one orbit of center of milky way 7 the sun will eventually be about the size of earth once the sun has completed its red giant phase it will collapse its huge mass will be retained but it will have a volume similar to that of earth when that happens it will be known as white dwarf eight it takes it takes eight minutes for the light reach earth from sun the average distance between the sun to the earth is about 150 million kilometers light travels at 3 lakh kilometer per second so dividing one by the other gives you 500 seconds eight minutes and 20 seconds this energy can reach earth in mere minutes but it takes millions of years to travel from sun's core to its surface the sun is the sun is halfway through its life at 4.5 billion years old the sun has burnt off around half of its hydrogen stores and has enough left to continue burning hydrogen for another 5 billion years currently the sun is yellow dwarf star number 10 the distance between earth and sun changes this is because the earth travels on the elliptical orbit path around the sun the distance between the two ranges from 147 to to 152 million kilometers this distance between them is one astronomical unit au 11 the sun rotates in the opposite direction to the earth 
with the sun rotating from west to east inside of east to west like earth 12 the sun rotates more quickly at its equator than it does closest to its poles this is known as differential rotation 13 The sun has a powerful magnetic field when the magnetic energy is released by the sun during magnetic storms solar flares occur which we see on earth as sun spots sun spots are dark area on the sun surface caused by magnetic variations the reason they appear dark is due to the temperature being much lower than surrounding areas 14 Temperature inside the sun can reach 15 million degrees Celsius. Energy is generated through nuclear fusion in the sun's core. This is when hydrogen converts to helium and because objects generally expand, the sun would explode like an enormous bomb if it wasn't for its tremendous gravitational pull. 15 The sun generates solar winds. These are ejections of plasma that originate in the layer of sun known as the corona, 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 and they can travel through the solar system at up to 450 km per second. 16. The atmosphere of sun is composed of three layers: the photosphere, the chromosphere, and the corona. 17 The sun is classified as yellow dwarf star it is the main sequence star with the surface temperature between 5000 to 5700 degree celsius 9000 and 10 300 fahrenheit 18 The aurora borealis and aurora australis are caused by the interaction of solar winds with earth's surface At the end of the video I would like to say if you enjoyed this video on want and want to hear from me again be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go and press the bell icon so that you are being notified and if you want then you can like and comment me if you want any particular topic to be shared related to space thank you have a nice day love love